All right, guys, today we are at RCS Geelong, and uh, if you guys remember, I bought this VN a few months ago, and uh, I've never actually had a look underneath it until today. So what we're gonna do, we raise it up, have a look underneath it. Now, I do know that this VN is pretty good. It drives very nicely, it's got 150,000 Ks. I'm not really expecting anything bad, but the car's here, it's, it's a good opportunity to have a look. So let's get it on the hoist, have a look underneath, and if there's anything that I need to order, we'll order it. So let's have a look. So we've got some pretty good new coil springs. Got some new sway bar links. It looks like he's replaced the shocks. The exhaust has been replaced at some point, but not great. You probably want to get this off there. I've got to do that in the VL. They get dirt stuck on there, and then if it's sitting around, it'll end up you know, holding moisture and rusting. Yeah, right. New brake lights. It was on gas. It was, yeah. It was dual fuel. So when we were younger and we used to lower them heaps, you used to belt that in. You've got to grind in the weld. Oh, it's split. Uh, maybe got fixed at the shop or something. Yeah, or, well, we'll give that a weld. Box looks all right, doesn't it? Yeah. It's nice. been painted, the box, actually. Maybe it's had some work done to the box at some point. All these are all new, which is good. Oh, yeah. Probably the pins have been done. Looks like the ball joints, link pins, brake ball lines, and new springs. springs. Yeah. It's like a heat shield or something that's got stuck in there and it's like rusted it. It's obviously like just got some sort of, it's like a fibre material that's just been sitting there rusting away. Definitely has a bit of an oil leak. Yeah, it's leaking all from a few spots, I think. <laughs> well, that's power steering fluid for sure. Yep. And then you got engine oil on the other side. That's pissing in. Engine mounts are bugged. They're not far off doing the knock, knock, knock. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you start thinking you've got to put them in. So he's done a fair bit of work to the suspension. Yeah, which is good. And that's probably why it drives so nice. Yeah, battery tray is pretty good. A little bit of rust. If it's a project, it would be worth ripping this motor out, I think, at some point, because that yeah. rust on the back of the head and just the oil leaks and stuff, just rip it out, buy a full gasket kit, re gasket Well, it remains it sealed, though. It's, it's, it's rope. Yeah, rope seal. Yeah. Bob, there's nothing under here that scares me, really, for no. a roadie, because it'll go for a roadworthy soon. Four pans in good condition. They've fixed this at some point. So that was obviously bent. No, this thing's pretty good condition. I'm very happy with the back of it. Yeah. And as far as the suspension and the front's been quite good. Yeah. But it's just the, um, it's got all the leaks for days. Yeah. But again, you know, it's 500 a... bucks of seals and no, that's a couple right. days. And, and it's a 36 year old. And Deacon loves doing seals on motors. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a 36 year old car. Yeah. Fuck my world. All right, so overall, it wasn't too bad. There are a few things that need attention, mostly the motor. So it yeah. just has a few little, Oil leaks, which is pretty normal for a Buick. I mean, this car has been totally untouched, but everything else is reasonably good. The only thing that's a little bit average, which I did know about, is the floor. You know, someone's jacked it up, but luckily it hasn't really affected the doors or, or anything like that. So still pretty happy with the car. Again, it's got 150,000 on it, and for a VN, it's pretty good. Again, this car hasn't had its roadworthy yet since I bought it, so that's why nothing's been fixed. This is as I've bought it. I haven't fixed anything on this car yet. Um, that's mechanical. So that's what we're going to be doing uh, in the next, you know, sort of little bit after I get rid of this VX and sell a high day. So we've got a lot of other stuff on the go at the moment. Again, VNs, they're pretty hard to find one, but uh, Honest and uh, and this one is. It's just, um, it's not perfect like any other car. So that's about it for this video. And I really appreciate you guys for watching and just having a very quick look at the underside of the VN. So. I'm always going to do this with any cars that I buy. It's really worth having a look at what's underneath it. So I've had, I've had this done at RCS Geelong, so they specialize mostly in Commodores, and it is really good to have somebody to, to have a look at it and make sure they haven't bought an ugly, but I'm pretty happy with this car. And in terms of what I want to do with this car, well, a lot of people, I'm sure, would want it to do a five liter conversion or an LS swap or anything. I'm not really interested in doing anything like that at all, if I'm completely honest. I've already got a five liter and this is a really original car and you know, it's not perfect, but I love the way that it looks on the outside and I just like to keep it exactly how it is. So really the only thing that I'm gonna be doing in this car is maintaining it and fixing the stuff that is wrong with it, which I'll do on the channel, of course. Overall, no, it's not perfect, but I didn't pay perfect money for it, but I really love this car. So if these are your kind of cars and you like this VN, please subscribe, follow along, and thank you for watching.